What up everyone? So before we get to the three video segments in this one with Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 I thought we'd just take a quick look at the hardware combination we're going to be using. So you can see on the screen AMD Ryzen 7 7700X 8 core 16 threads 32 megabytes of L3 cache which is extremely good and then as far as the main board of course it's a Gigabyte B650 has a PCI Express 5.0 and of course we're playing with the PCI Express bus of 4.0 and memory wise we were playing with of course dual channel for some reason DDR5 always says 4 times 30 for some reason but I mean it definitely is 16 gigabytes and then of course you know there's just a little bit more information on the type of RAM we're using and then of course we'll take a look at the graphics card here so there it is AMD Radeon RX 900 XT 20 gigabytes of GDDR6 so overall you know very good graphics card so that's the hardware we're playing with so let's go ahead and just jump into those video segments and uh, yeah let's just see what kind of FPS and settings we can play at with this hardware hey there everyone so in this one I'm going to be playing good old Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 I'll be using the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XT paired up with the AMD Ryzen 7 7700X. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graphics settings, see what we're playing with here. So we're playing at full screen, and there it is, RX 7900 XT. We're playing at 2160p, also known as 4K resolution. No dynamic resolution, V-Sync soft, the frame rate is set to unlimited because we definitely want to see how many frames per second we can get. So that's what we're playing with in this first screen. Now in the quality screen, we're playing on extreme settings. So in Warzone, this is the uh, absolute highest you can get. There's no higher than this. And we're playing at 2160p again 4k resolution and we're actually playing with uh, with no software frame rate assistant no DLS no FSR none of that good stuff so we're actually playing at uh, at a true 2160p so just to kind of see what the uh, qualities look like on extreme you can see everything is pretty much set to high I mean in Warzone 2.0 I mean there, there really is no higher settings than this so that's what we're playing with here I mean the good thing with Warzone 2.0 is you can always customize to your heart's content so alright so with that out of the way let's go ahead and uh, just jump into a good old battle royale and of course, as always, we are just going to see how many frames per second we can get using this hardware combination. So that's it for this playthrough of Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 using the Ryzen 7 7700X with the 7900XT. So overall I'm going to say extremely impressive. This hardware is just about the top of the line, the best you can get. So I mean it performed extremely well, I mean look at that average uh, 
over 100 frames, right? 101. We're playing on highest possible settings, no frame rate assistance or anything like that. So, extremely impressive. So, I can't really say much more than that. I mean, this hardware can handle Warzone 2.0 very easily. So, overall, I had lots of fun. It was exciting to play this one. So everyone thanks for watching and everyone have a good one. What up everyone? So in this playthrough of Warzone 2.0, using the same hardware as before, the RX 7900 XT and the Ryzen 7 7700X, except we're going to be playing on different settings. So, we're still going to be playing it at 4K resolution, 2160p. Of course, there it is, RX 7900 XT. And same thing as before, unlimited frame rate, because we want to see how many frames we can get, you know. Of course, no V-Sync or, or anything fancy like that. And then in the quality presets, we're playing on low settings. Now, the reason why it says custom is because for some reason... It wants you to lock in a frame rate assistant in order to uh, maintain the uh, the 4K. So yeah, so for some reason, yeah, you ha definitely have to turn that off. So that's why it says custom, because right, because normally, I mean, you could just pick it, but that's the reason why. So and that's the only way I could get it to to show what it shows. So. That's what we're playing with here. So, all right, with that out of the way, of course, as always, we are just going to jump into a good old battle royale match. And we're just gonna see how many frames per second we can get using this hardware combination on these settings. Okay, so that's it for this playthrough of Warzone 2.0 using the Ryzen 7 7700X and the 7900XT. So on these settings, playing at minimum settings, 4K, um, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna say I'm very impressed by this hardware. I mean, we got well above 120, we got 133 frames per second, so extremely impressive I mean 120 frames isn't bad at all I mean you definitely could play competitively or pretty close to it at 120 so impressive I mean this hardware is taking care of Warzone 2.0 with no problems at all so definitely enjoyed this one so everyone have a good one what up everyone so in this playthrough of warzone 2.0 i'm using the same hardware as before using the radeon rx 7900 xt with the ryzen 7 7700x so as always let us take a look at the graphic settings see what we're playing with here full screen borderless there it is rx 7900 xt playing at 1440 P 2K resolution, no dynamic resolution or any custom frame rate set to unlimited. So nothing too fancy in this screen. And then in the quality settings, again render resolution is at 100%. Again, we're not using any type of frame rate assistant, no FSR, no DLSS or anything like that. So, we're playing on low settings. Now, the reason why it says custom is because for some reason, if you play without frame rate assistance, it, uh, it always says custom. I'm not sure why. I mean, it did that on the other playthroughs that we did. So, just, just what it likes to do. So, I mean, essentially, it is the minimum settings that we're playing on. So... 
So we're playing with there. As you can see on the screen there, yeah, it wants to go all the way down to 720p. So, yeah, not sure why. But all right, so with that out of the way, of course, as always, let's just go ahead and jump into a match. And we're just going to see how many frames per second we can get playing at this resolution and settings with this hardware combination. You are in the Gulag now, soldiers. This is my world. Your only way out is to kill your enemies or stay dead. Okay, so that's it for this playthrough of Warzone 2.0 using the RX 7900 XT and the Ryzen 7 7700 X. So looks like we got an average of 145 playing on minimum setting. So overall, I'm gonna say again, like the other two playthroughs, very impressive. This is definitely the first CPU that I've seen that's been able to hit the 144 mark. Granted, it was really close. I mean, 145, I mean, shoot, any any lower and it would, wouldn't would really be 144. But overall, yeah, no, very impressive. I mean, shows that this hardware combination can definitely play Warzone 2.0 competitively. So... Overall impressive. I mean this this hardware Definitely shows that it is some of the best hardware out there. So not much more to say so Thanks for watching this one and everyone have a good one Okay, so I finished playing through all video segments This is a the section I call afterthoughts so Overall, this hardware combination played Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 extremely well. I mean, Warzone 2.0 has always been a, uh, well, it's always been a beast of a game on most hardware. I mean, you can see that looking back at the videos, just what type of hardware it takes just to hit 144. You know, I mean, this hardware is definitely competitive, so, I mean, it takes, definitely takes a monster PC just to be able to do that and all honesty I would shoot I would even recommend probably like a Ryzen 9 to be honest if you really want to hit that 144 comfort comfortably because I mean this hardware is capable of doing it but just barely and some of you might be wondering why didn't I use any FSR or DLSS or any frame rate assistant. It's just because when you play competitively, you definitely want to play without any frame rate assistant because it does add some lag. I mean, not a whole lot, but any lag is bad when you're when you're playing in a competitive sport, especially ranked settings. So it's the reason why I turned it all off. I mean, if you just want to play it casually, then yeah, by all means, turn it all on. I can say about it, so I just want to say everyone thanks for watching and everyone have a good one.